your Norman Knights rode ponies that were about 12 hands in height, Phil. Oh, you're laughing. No. You, you've got to be. No. Look, they're big warriors. They've have, got have enormous a, horses. Have a look at this. Look where the men's feet are. Look how close they are to the ground. But the, can't that be artistic license? No, because we've, we have excavations of bones from horses that scaled up would have been for a 12, 13 hand maximum pony. Oh, mm. sorry, Bobby's too big. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, what's this one called? Cali. Cali? Yeah. Uh, no, don't think it's going to fit. No. Mm. I think a likely looking candidate is here. Oh. Hello. What's your horse's name? Murphy. Hello, Murphy. At first sight, Phil thought our bit looked like an instrument of torture, but the Normans seemed to have known what they were doing. Murphy accepts it without fuss. He doesn't seem to be objecting too much. No, I'm amazed. We've prepared your war horse, Sir Philip. <laughs> what? <laughs> is that all right? Yes. All right for me to get on your horse, is it? Do you need a hand up? <laughs> the, to you, to to you, Tony. This must seem like a mighty charger. <laughs> it will to you. Yeah, it, exactly yeah. right. One, two, three. Cool. Hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> Way I'm up here. Yeah, I am up here. Okay. Cool stone across. Well, if if Tony was a was a Saxon in a shield wall, yeah, you know, he's still an intimidating side, isn't he? Bearing down on you. Uh, you surf! Yeah! <laughs> Phil has never ever been on a horse before. He's so chuffed, it may take us a while to get him back to the site. Oh, magic! We started out with just one building, but it's now becoming clear that Bosnum was a busy place. Pot and bone from the circular ditch show that people were also living down here in the 12th century at exactly the same time as the building was occupied. I can see that there are all of the main domesticates. Uh, here we are, cattle jaws, sheep jaws, uh, pig also, and there's even a bit of horse here. So does that mean they're eating horse then? Well, no, they wouldn't have been in this case. Horses are, are big, there's yeah. lots of meat yeah, on them. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. rather than just wasting it, it's much more sensible to, to butcher it up and feed that meat to the dogs. So this is the original knacker's yard sort of thing? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> It's all butchery waste. It, it's the sort of smelly, nasty bits that you're not going to eat. You don't want them up by your house. You're going to shove them off as far as you can. Yeah. And sticking them in a, an enclosure ditch is the perfect place. What about the pottery then, Paul? The dating's very tight on this. It all looks to me like it's 12th century. There's these with the roller stamping on. Yeah, that's very nice, that yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, it? that's yeah. very typical of the 12th century Shelley wares. Oh, right. But there's no glazed right. wares at all. The, the early glazed wares we get in the early 13th century, they're just not here. Right. And an assemblage of this size, I'd be expecting to see the odd shirt or two. So nothing beyond 1200, you I don't saying, think so, no. Right. We still don't know why this site came to such a sudden end. It may be that the area stopped being a royal forest, which had been one of the causes of the quarrel between the nobles and the king. And our peasant farmers would have been caught up in these turbulent struggles. Hello, my name's John Gator. Time Team is fan funded by Patreon. This vital support helps us to make new episodes. Joining Patreon gives you access to exclusive interviews, 3D models and masterclasses, plus lots more.